So I was asked to show how to keep a full colour acrylic at the cuticle. So I have gone ahead and applied my tip. Now do you see the tiniest little bead? And I have placed it up to the cuticle but not touching it and I am really pressing it in so it is really 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 flat and virtually non-existent. A thin clear base is the key to keeping that colour when you are applying a solid colour. Now I've picked Space Odyssey which is black and that will help show a solid colour. So if I picked a light colour to show if there was any discrepancies, you wouldn't see it, if that makes sense. So I went with black, black. So I have applied the lower bead. Now I am going to come in and apply that cuticle bead. Now, because this cuticle clear base area is unbelievably super, super, super thin, it is literally just there to stop the staining of the nail plate. It is not offering any strength, any structure at all. It is just a microscopic there to stop it from staining. Yep, my brain just farted, sorry. So I have left it and I have turned the angle because obviously these are step-by-steps. So there are pictures and that's why I keep, you know, turning it and cutting it out. It's purely because I'm photoing it. I'm taking shots. <laughs> so I have just ombre up a little bit of glitter because I wanted to play with it. And yeah. But the main focus of this was how to keep that solid colour at the cuticle and have a lovely flush cuticle. So I'm going to come in and cap. Now, because it is quite a lengthy nail, I tend to cap halfway down, patting and pressing. Now, the trick with your acrylic is to not be brushing it and smushing it all up and having air bubbles. So you see that nail plate area is super thin. And even though it is really thin with good e-file training, you can get all that acrylic back to it. And you don't need a lot. You are only needing the smallest amount. So I have gone ahead and I have built the rest of the nail. So I have let it file up and let it set up and I am going in and I am filing it. So I have left in, it is rare I do it, but I have left in my entire filing to show you that it is perfectly fine with a hand file to manage to do it. So I have come in and I have done my side walls and my lower arches. Now, obviously this is not a real person, but I still support that nail plate on a client. So I will still hold her hand, her nails still. So when I am filing, I am not jiggling her because that's how you can leave them tender. So I am going uphill and round and then round that corner there. And this will allow me to get that beautiful flush area. But remember that when we put that clear on as the base it really did just press into that cuticle area so it is not bulky there is not a full sculpted base needed under on your cuticle area it is literally just a wash i can't stress it enough so there we go i have fully filed and I am going to come in with my tack free top gloss and I am going all the way around. Now, obviously, because this is a training finger and I love it so much, when I have cured it, I am actually going to slide it out so you can see that there is no discrepancies. So we've got a nicely built nail, but as you can see, we have no patchy areas and it's beautiful. So as always, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.